My name is Thomas Kahn. I'm a professor of medicine at Karolinska Institute in Stockholm and I work as a cardiologist in one of the university hospitals, mainly in hypertension and in cardiovascular prevention. I'm going to present some results here on resistant hypertension and how we can possibly try to treat those people who have blood pressure which remain uncontrolled which is a major problem. Resistant hypertension is a term you use when blood pressure is not controlled and pseudo-resistant hypertension or rather apparent resistant hypertension is what you usually uh, use to describe patients who have three or maybe four drugs but still have their blood pressure uncontrolled. Uh, the difference between true resistant hypertension and pseudo-resistant hypertension is that there are many unrecognized reasons for uh, hypertension that you can actually treat if you do a proper workout. Well, if you look into surveys, uh, perhaps half or even two-thirds of all patients treated for hypertension are uncontrolled and they are then often called they are pseudo-resistant but that is not true uh, because there are few patients with true resistant hypertension perhaps one out of ten so it's a big group in between but those with resistant hypertension true resistant hypertension are a medical challenge because they are difficult to treat and they have poor prognosis. They have very high risk for cardiovascular events. Well, if you have true resistant hypertension, we are at the dead end now when we use several drugs, we cannot control blood pressure. And then uh, there are several device therapies Renal denervation is one of them that may be the solution. It's promising, it should work, the physiology is there, but we are not really uh, there in the clinical setting to know how to do it the best way and how to choose the proper patients. But I'm quite sure that we will reach it within a few years.